Hey guys, you know the drill by now, Sunday Best. This is where I count down my favorite football jokes of the week. Let's get started. 19, looks like we're finally sending some good football teams to London. Now if we could just get one in Miami. The Dolphins got within one point with six seconds left and they decided to go for two and of course they failed. It's like they're not trying to win. 17, Kaepernick's agent confirmed that he would still like to play in the NFL. Uh, quick impression of Kaepernick's cell phone. Yeah, that was it. 16, his agent said if he can't play for an NFL team, he would also consider the Dolphins. 15, Larry Fitzgerald got 69 yards this week, to which Gronk responded, <laughs> 14, Gronk did the Thursday night pregame show on Fox. I like Gronk, I think he's super fun. He's the best tight end of all time. He's great at a lot of things, but talking? 13, Gronk's the type of guy who moves his lips when he's reading a cereal box. 12, former Steeler D'Angelo Williams uh, just funded 500 mammograms. How cool is that? If former Steeler Antonio Brown did that, it would somehow be creepy, right? He just presumed that he was going to do them himself or something. 11, Antonio Brown probably thinks that uh, 500 mammograms is the total weight of avocados Tom Brady eats every week. How much is that? 500 mammograms? Yeah, that's about right. 500 mammograms. Number 10, the voice of the Ravens on the radio is a man whose name is Jerry Sandusky. Now, I have traveled the country named Kostaki Economopolis for 25 years, so I anchor the end of the spectrum of don't change your name for show business. But if you share your name with the most uh, notorious pedophile of the modern world, um, maybe you go by Jerry Sands. Maybe. <laughs> Some names just get ruined. You can't be Jerry Sandusky. That's over. You can't name a kid Adolf. That's it. That kid is Aiden. That is little Aiden Hitler. He's cute. Number nine, the Falcons gave up 34 points to a rookie coach and a rookie quarterback. Ugh. Their defense should be replaced with a drunk guy holding a D and a fence. Eight, or we've replaced the Falcons defense with these Folgers crystals. Let's see if anyone notices. Seven, Atlanta has more terrible losses than it has streets named Peachtree. Six, the Falcons are the standard of underachievement. Their mascot should be Ryan Leaf. The Atlanta Ryan Leaves. He's just standing there dressed as himself, just Ryan Leaf. Number five, going to the game, Coach Dan Quinn was on the hot seat and the kicker, Matt Bryant, said, hold my pink slip. Four, when the devil went down to Georgia, he apparently didn't make a deal with any kickers. Yeah, the devil was on vacation that week because he had just come from New England where he made a lot of deals with the Patriots. Number three, Falcons lost, Bulldogs lost, Braves lost. Ugh, Jimmy Carter fell down. What, Todd Gurley can't play. But it's a tough week to be a Georgian. What, what are we gonna do, relaunch New Coke? Two, the Titans replaced Marcus Mariota with Ryan Tannehill. Oh, that stings a little, right? You were benched for a guy not good enough to play for the Miami Dolphins? <laughs> Ow. Ow. And number one, the Cowboys are terrible. Oh, that's fun for me. The Cowboys to me are the vegan muffin of the NFL. They take great ingredients and mix them together and somehow it sucks at the end. Ha <laughs> ha!